and welcome back to my channel. Um, I am going to focus on the next few videos. It's been a while since I've uploaded, but I'm going to focus on the next few videos about um, Cornwall. Now, this is somewhere that I am creating a niche website for, so I'll put the link for that down below. Um, and somewhere that I know very well. Um, I have Cornish family, and I've been here loads and loads of times, including a lot this summer. Um, so I thought I would share it here as well because I know it's a very popular place for staycations and for, yeah, everyone really. I mean, it's a wonderful place. So, I'm going to begin with um, talking about Tintagel, Tintagel Castle mainly, but Tintagel as well. So, um, we're going to go to Tintagel Castle shortly and I'm going to talk about, it is one of the main tourist attractions of Cornwall, but equally it's somewhere that is a bit, you know, it's a bit expensive to get into and there are some pros and cons to visiting, so I'm going to talk about those. Um, however, first, we are just in Lanhydrock, which is close to Bodmin, about a 40 minute drive from Tintagel. So I thought I'd share some clips of Lanhydrock as well, because this is a cool place that's worth visiting too. And then we will drive to Tintagel and I will talk a little bit more about Tintagel. So Lanhydrock um, is a Victorian, well, Lanhydrock started life as quite a small manor house, but it was expanded a lot throughout the ages. Um, and in the Victorian, late Victorian era, 1881 I think, it was sadly destroyed by a fire. So um, a lot of the house was then rebuilt after that time and the, all the interior that you see today was from around the late Victorian period. Um, it's really interesting and it was actually opened to visitors during the late Victorian period. Um, so it has this really interesting air of sort of how people visited it then and how people visited it, visit it now. There's a few sections you can look at. There's the main house, which has all of the main rooms, the drawing room, the dining room, um, the bedrooms, the bathrooms. And then there's also the kitchens, which um, if you're a Downton Abbey fan, which I most certainly am, um, the kitchens are... Whoop, by a tree the kitchens are well worth visiting because they um, focus on the sort of downstairs life the servants life in the Victorian times um, which is a really interesting part of Downton Abbey they focus on sort of the upper class people living upstairs and the servants working and living downstairs and it's an interesting comparison so that's well worth visiting too so it's a cool place I'm now just having a little walk around the grounds and um, we're gonna have a quick look at the gardens too and then we will drive to Tintagel.
to Tadra Castle now. Um, just to explain it quickly, it is the um, site of allegedly where King Arthur was built. It was also an important citadel in the 5th to 7th century and it was the site where Richard Earl of Cornwall built a castle in the 13th century. So there's a lot going on here. Um, it is a place of myth and legend and it is beautiful. Like it is incredible. It's right by the dramatic North Cornish coastline. But is it worth the entrance cost? Well, it costs 16 pounds per person per adult, which is quite a lot. That is, it is free for English Heritage membership and for memberships of the Cornwall Heritage Trust. So I will go into that a bit more later in this video. Um, I'm never sure if it's worth it. I've been here a few times now. Um, I'm not seeing all of it today, but I will show you a bit of it now and you can kind of make up your mind whether you think it's worth it um, for throughout the next clips. wanted to conclude this with my thoughts about Tadjil Castle. So, um, it's a difficult one, basically. Tadjil Castle is absolutely beautiful, there's no denying that. Um, the coastline is absolutely stunning there. Now the first time I went, well, the I went in June and that was when I was hiking the southwest coast path and I think I was just used to seeing such epic scenery all the time so I was a bit like oh you know this is just like everywhere else I've been but it's free um so I wasn't as impressed with it then and the fact that we had paid 16 pounds to get in also made me not as impressed with it <laughs> um today because I haven't been seeing this part of the coastline as much I was a lot more impressed with how like beautiful it was because it really is stunning. There are a few ways that you can make your trip to Tintagel cheaper. I did find out that entry is now £19 which is really expensive. So here are some ways to make uh, your trip to Tintagel cheaper. Number one is to join the English Heritage which costs around £60 for a person for a whole year which I think is really good. That gets you entry into over 400 sites all over um, the country and into you get half price entry into Wales and Scottish sites as well um, and you get free entry into Northern Ireland sites. After a year you get um, free entry into Welsh and Scottish sites too. So I think it is really worth it. Um, but if you don't want to join the English Heritage, the Cornwall Heritage Trust costs about £12 for a, per person. So it's actually joining the Cornwall Heritage Trust is cheaper than paying for one entry to Tintagel Castle. So that is also well worth doing. There are also a couple of ways you can see some of Tintagel for free. Um, one is by walking along the southwest coast path you get some views of Tintagel you also see very similar coastline and that's really beautiful and another way is walking straight down um, when you get to Tintagel Castle you walk straight down and down all the way to the bottom towards the beach you don't have to pay to get to this bit and then you get to the cafe the gift shop and a small exhibition about Tintagel Castle and you don't need your ticket to go into these places and you can see the view of Tintagel Castle. You obviously can't go around Tintagel Castle because that costs, um, but you can see the view of Tintagel Castle from there. And you can also go down to the beach and go down to Merlin's Cave, which is pretty cool. And I went down there after we went to Tintagel Castle uh, today, and that was really cool. So I do recommend checking that out. Yeah, so those are the ways you can see it for cheaper. Personally, 
it is really nice but personally 19 pounds is a bit too much to see the castle 16 pounds is still a bit too much to be honest but this is you know i said this as someone who had seen um loads of beautiful cornish coastline by then um my other thing i wanted to say is if you are um not able to climb up lots of steps or um sort of walk on uneven ground and stuff like that unfortunately tintagel will be a struggle it is very uneven um there is climbing and but there is not climbing as in like rock climbing but there is walking up a lot, a lot of uneven stairs and uneven ground involved so if you are do find it difficult to walk it might um not be an option but you can um take a jeep down to the cafe um and shop area and you can see a view there and you don't have to pay to the entrance fee for the castle if you do that so those are the options it is definitely worth going to see some of it i think um and to see some of that area of cornish coastline but if you don't want to pay the full amount then hopefully some of these options have given you an idea of what you can do um also in tintagel you can go to king arthur's hall which is quite cool that's like a experience where you can learn a bit more about king arthur there's a National Trust property, the Medieval Post Office. There's a Tintagel Toy Museum. And there are the beaches and there are the coast walks and stuff. So there's quite a lot to do in Tintagel. There's also a nice um, vegan restaurant called Vega, which we went to today. So Tintagel is a nice place. I definitely would recommend visiting while you're in Cornwall. And I'd also definitely recommend Land Hydrock as well. It's a lovely little country house. Um, really interesting history there and stuff. So yeah nice day out in Cornwall. Okay, so thanks for watching this video and I'll see you next time. Bye!